I have two theories I want to share with you today. First theory, the Apostle Paul was bald. I believe he was bald because he pulled his hair out while writing the last half of the seventh chapter of the book of Romans. Let me read it and you'll see what I mean. We know that the law is spiritual, but I am unspiritual, sold as a slave to sin. So here's the ground rules laid out. The law is spiritual, anything of God. Jesus told the Samaritan woman at the well that God is spirit. We must worship him, worship him in spirit and in truth. But by nature, we are unspiritual. We are looking out for number one. So there's this battle going on. Spiritual and the unspiritual. What comes natural to us and what doesn't come natural because we're trying to follow God. I do not understand what I do. For what I want to do, I do not do. But what I hate, I do. He's starting to brr, pull his hair already. And if I do what I do not want to do, I agree that the law is good. Okay, it's not natural for me to do what God wants me to do, but I'm going to try to do it. I agree that it's good. It's, it's a struggle, but I'm going to do it because I agree that it's good. As it is, it is no longer I myself who do it, but it is sin living in me. I know that nothing good lives in me that is in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. For what I do is not the good I want to do, no, the evil I do not want to do, this I keep doing. <sighs> no, the evil I do not want to do, this I keep doing. Now, if I do not, if I do what I do not want to do, it is no longer I who do it, but it is sin living in me that does it. Definitely, pulling his hair, going bald here. So I find this law at work. When I want to do good, evil is right there with me. For in my inner being I delight in God's law. But I see another law at work and the members of my body waging war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner of the law of sin at work within my members. What a wretched man I am! Who will rescue me from this body of death? Thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. There's our lifeline, the only chance we've got of getting out of this alive. So then I myself in my mind am a slave to God's law, but in a sinful nature a slave to the law of sin. So we've kind of got this dual slavery going on here. In other sections, Paul talks about a dual citizenship. We're citizens of this world, we're born here. Over citizens of heaven, those of us that have given our lives to Christ. Now we have this dual slavery going on. We're a slave to God's law. We want to do that. But we're a slave to the sin that comes natural to us. So there's this tension. Now my second theory that I want to share with you. I've always felt this would make a great humor skit. If done right. Let me read it real fast. I'll see if I can pull this off. We know that the law is spiritual, but I am unspiritual, sold as a slave to sin. I do not understand what I do. For what I want to do, I do not do. But what I do, what I hate, I do. And if I do what I do not want to do, I agree that the law is good. As it is, it is no longer I myself who do it, but it is sin living in me. I know that nothing good lives in me, that is, in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. For what I... But if what I do is not the good I want to do, no, the evil I do not want to do, this I keep on doing. No, if I do what I do not want to do, it is no longer I who do it, but it is sin living in me that does it. So I find this law at work. When I want to do good, evil is right there with me. For in my inner being, I delight in God's law. But I see another law at work in the members of my body, waging war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner of the law of sin at work within my members. What a wretched man I am. Who will rescue me from this body of death? Thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then, I myself in my mind am a slave to God's law, but in a sinful nature a slave to the law of sin. Whew. What do you think? Was Paul bald or what? I got an idea. Give your life to Jesus. It's the only hope you've got. Keep smiling.
Wade.